My meditation is all about emptying the mind. I believe that very firmly. And this is deep force within us, and it's constant every day, every moment. You don't realize that you're going through that. There is something deeply ingrained in each individual person, a particular individual nature that we all have. We create a certain way we view ourselves. Humans are obviously incredible. Look at what we've created. It's, it's an outrageous if you think about who we were millions of years ago and where we are now. We're capable of cooperating and working on teams. We're obviously capable of incredible achievements. We're also the most brilliant. So it's a mix of things. You know, each person has a mix of these qualities. Everybody has them. Where does it come from? Some of it comes from our DNA, from our genetics, things we can't control. So question yourself. Stop assuming that everything you do is so brilliant and smart and right. Imagine that maybe your idea come from yourself. You want to think that you're completely independent, but if you begin to look at yourself and question and examine it and look at perhaps other sources of it, then you can begin this process of understanding, know who you are, that your relationships with people are fine. Now you're motivated to try and learn. I've trained myself to question where they are. If you go through life, the accepting people and loving them for who they are is an incredibly liberating thing. Now, you can't do that for everyone. Some people are so toxic and ugly that you're never going to reach a point where you're going to love them, but you can understand them. We humans normally go through life kind of not accepting things. We want things because life isn't like that. Your reality is a certain way. It is what it is. Things happen to you you can't control. You didn't control who your parents are. You didn't control what city you were born into, what school you went into. You didn't control whether you were born rich or poor, right? There's much you can't control, that's fate. Accept it for what it is. But if you begin to look at yourself and question, why do I feel this way? We create a certain way we view ourselves. It gives me the chills even now to think about that, to know that if I want to become the person that I want to become, and to me the question that we all have to ask is, who do I want to be? What do I want to become? Everything you believe is a choice. If you forget any of that stuff, then you will not be able to make yourself in the person that you want to be. Embrace your world, your life. That knowledge about who you are is an end in itself and will help you in so many ways become that human being that I think we all have the potential to become.